In this video we look at diagnosing a C11 engine that has trouble starting and has excessive blow-by. That white smoke is combustion gas that's got into the crankcase of the engine and it's coming out the crankcase breather. That is never a good sign. There's very few things that are, that are a minor repair that cause that. It's usually something serious. There's also a subtle knock coming out of that engine and let's see if you can guess where that's coming from. So there's a few things that you need to look at before you pull the engine apart. First thing is to take the tappet cover off and run the engine and see if you can see any exhaust gas coming out around the valve stems. A damaged exhaust or inlet valve can allow combustion gas to escape into the engine and out the breather. This engine had no smoke around the valves when it was running, so we knew that that was not our problem. We can straight away rule out an injector seal because these engines have a fuel rail that runs through the head, uh, a top and bottom injector seal, and for a combustion gas to get through the first seal into the fuel rail and then out the top seal would cause a lot of other problems. It would push fuel out into the engine, it would overpressurize the fuel rail and put exhaust gas into the fuel tank. There would be a lot of other signs so we knew it wasn't that as well. Another way to get combustion gas into the crankcase is a failed turbo seal. That would mean when the engine is running, exhaust gas is pushing through a seal into the internal parts that are lubricated of the turbo and then out the drain, the oil drain of the turbo. A quick way to rule this problem out is to take the two bolts at the bottom of the turbo drain off and have the drain freely hanging and run the engine once you've got it smoking so that you know there's a lot of exhaust gas being put into the engine and see if any exhaust gas comes out the turbo drain. So with the engine running there's no smoke coming out the turbo drain but plenty coming out the crankcase of where the turbo drains into the sump so we can rule out a turbo seal. It is plausible to have a cracked head gasket and have exhaust gas travelling up through a bolt and out the top of the head but we never saw any smoke underneath the tappet cover so we're pretty confident that it's not coming out from anywhere around the head it's not coming out being forced into the turbo drain and back into the crankcase so it's piston related it's either damage to the liner bores, piston rings, or there's a hole in the piston, something of that matter, but we're looking, we're talking piston right now. This engine also had 25,000 hours running time, over 11 years, it's the only engine registered to this machine, so it's done, it's done a lot of work, so we're looking at a rebuild now. And once we pulled it down, the problems started to arise. It had broken piston rings, it had serious damage to number six liner bore, serious scoring, I'd say that's where the bulk of the smoke would have been coming out of. All the liners had the cross hatching pretty much worn off and they were smooth, so that's a terrible sign as well because without that cross hatching on the liner bore, the oil doesn't stick to it, you don't get proper lubrication. So number six is real bad as you can see, but they're all totaled and you want to do a piston pack change out for sure. Uh, as we went further down into the bottom end of the engine it got worse. And this is where that knocking sound was coming from. That's a big end journal for number 6. The bearing spun, wrecked the surface of the journal. You maybe be able to reclaim that with a grind at a machine shop but it heated up the crank so much that the crank failed its hardness test so it couldn't be ground so it's a throwaway crank we need a new crank the con rod is destroyed there's nothing we can do for that that's the cap because the bearing spun it's wrecked the surface in there as well you'd never put another bearing in there and they don't they don't mill out those tunnels of the con rod and put a larger bearing in these 
they're uh, just a one ticket item if they spin they're buggered you can see the tabs of the bearing have been pushed flat that was due to the spinning some other wear and tear we need a new shaft for the lifter assembly and checked a few other things but that was pretty much the most of the damage and that is why we are rebuilding the C11 make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the rebuild segments as I load them up